This video is sponsored by 3M Visual Attention Software. So I've got this pack of sausages, and these are sad sausages, because their plain design keeps people from buying them. They just sit on the shelf all day long, hoping someone will come by and add them to their cart, but no one ever does. But wait, we're gonna turn these frowns upside down because today, these little sausages are gonna get the packaging design they've always deserved. And here's how it'll work. I've grabbed some text content from an actual sausage product sold in stores, which I'll use to create an original design from scratch. The first design will be in black and white, so all the focus will be on the layout and the hierarchy. I'll then use the power of artificial intelligence to analyze the concept. The AI tool I'll be using is called FAS, which is a visual attention software. I've already made a video covering it in detail and why it's a really nice tool to have. That'll be linked down below if you want to check it out. But in short, VAS will analyze my design using artificial intelligence and determine which areas are likely to attract people's attention within the first five seconds of viewing them. The goal is to craft the design so that the areas people are likely to see contain the most important elements and the other areas contain minor content. Once we've received our analysis results, we'll use them to see what we can change to make the design more effective. So let's get started. Just to go over the content really quick, we've got the company name, Highfield, the product title, pork sausage, a small description saying these sausages are uncured and naturally smoked. There's also a list of potentially harmful or undesirable ingredients that this product doesn't contain. And then there's some legal copy like the weight of the product, notice to keep it refrigerated, and a seal of inspection. Like I said, this first round will be in black and white, so we'll start with a black background. To kick things off, I'll put the product title here front and center, and I wanna go with a clean design but still have a bit of personality. So instead of just this text, I've got this illustration that I wanna incorporate in. And my idea is to put the sausage text inside of the sausage. I'll just bend it to fit the shape and give it a bold font to fill up the space. And then of course the pork text can be pretty large and we can beef that up some. To help tie it in with the sausage, I'm gonna stretch it out a bit and then give the sausage a black stroke so that it cuts away at the pork letters and makes them form around the shape of the sausage. I'll stick the uncured and naturally smoked text under here to act as sort of a subtitle. And to ensure these items have a more similar visual weight, I'm gonna stack this naturally smoked text like this. And then I'll give each item a different font so they look like two separate qualities, but structure them so they still feel like a single unit. These nutrition facts are actually a really good opportunity for some information consolidation. So instead of repeating the word no in every one of these, why not just add a little heading saying none of these, and then place all three of these underneath it. To make that more clearly a group though, I'll add a border around them and maybe even throw in some decorative edging. To finish up, I'll put in the company name at the top in a wider font, the legal copy down below at the bottom, and the seal can just probably go up here in the corner. And now we can analyze this design. In a previous video, we used the VAST web app, but there's also an Illustrator plugin that's available, which is what we'll be taking advantage of here. So I'll just go to the Window tab, and under Extensions, I'll click the VAST plugin. The process here is very similar to the web version. We do want to shrink our artboard first, though, so that all this white space isn't included as part of the analysis. And then we'll just select what type of design this is, packaging, and next we need to show the plugin what areas we're interested in seeing specific data percentages for. And we do that by drawing boxes with the standard rectangle tool around all our main elements, selecting those rectangles, then pressing this Convert to Areas of Interest button. And now we can analyze. After a few seconds, we get our results. These percentages are showing us the chance that someone will see each of these areas on first glance. Interestingly enough, this uncured and naturally smoked text is pulling the most attention by far, which honestly isn't what I expected. I would have assumed that the logo would probably have been the top dog in this fight, but this is the perfect example of how having a tool that can determine this kind of information is so valuable to have, because what we expect to happen doesn't always happen. So it looks like everything else has a roughly equal chance of being seen, which isn't great because that means we don't really have any effective hierarchy going on right now. The heat map also confirms that the attention is gathered around this subtitle, and the gaze sequence, which is the order in which people will actually see these elements, is really interesting. According to Vass, the first thing people will see is the subtitle here. Then they'll move to the nutrition facts, which weren't really supposed to be that prevalent. Then we hit the product title and end up on the inspection badge of all things. Clearly, this is not the order we want, so we've got a little bit of work to do. Let's add in some color while also trying to improve these core metrics. I'll start off by changing the black background to more of a dark brown to give the package a more natural feeling. And I think it would be a crime against nature if this sausage icon wasn't red, which should also help bring more attention to the product name. I'll change the white pork to more of a beige color to match the background better. And the subtext can be that color too, since I still want those items to stand out. But I will make the and symbol a lighter brown so that these two parts are still clearly separated. 
And now I really want to tone down these nutrition facts, so maybe we can make those the same light brown color. And to ensure these items are still clearly defined as a group, I'll make this container a washed out gold color just for a bit of an accent. And I might even make all the other white elements that same gold color too, for some sense of cohesion. And now we can analyze this once again. Well, it looks like things have improved quite a bit. The subtitle still stands out a lot, but the product name has really increased in percentage, which is great. And to top it all off, the nutrition info has been scaled back to what I think is a more reasonable amount. It looks like we have a single attention hotspot focused entirely around the center surrounding the product title and the subtitle, which it's hard to get better than that. And according to this gaze sequence, this would kind of be read as naturally smoked, uncured pork sausage, which actually makes quite a bit of sense. So I'd say this is a win. After this point, I was wondering if I could rearrange this design somehow to make the gaze sequence start at the logo and then go to the subtitle and lastly end on the nutrition facts. I was able to achieve this with this design. So basically I just moved the subtitle down to this corner and rearranged the nutrition facts vertically in the opposite corner. This gives us the proper gaze sequence and we'll also find that our attention hotspots are around all of the main information on the package, including the company name, which is nice. I do think though that this is one of those instances where I like the original design slightly more, just visually speaking. But it does seem like this other design might perform better according to our desired goals. So if this were a real project, we could give both of these concepts to our client, include all of the data that VAST provided, and then they can make a more informed decision on which one to move forward with based on their business goals and their audience research. Another interesting thing that I want to point out is how different your results can be if you don't include the actual product in the area that VAST analyzes. As you can see, not including the sausages in their container really changes things up. Each element's percentage is quite different, and even the gaze sequence is slightly altered. Out in the wild, nobody is going to see this design section all on its own. They're going to see it attached to the container with the sausages clearly visible. And as we can see from these results, that will clearly affect how they perceive the design. And this is exactly why I always like to design over top of mockups, because then I can take into account the shape and size and color of the product that the packaging will appear on. So if you want to try VAS out for yourself, there will be a link down in the description. It's really a great tool and I encourage you to give it a go and see what you think. I'm super happy with how these designs turned out and hopefully you've learned something that you can use in your next design. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more design videos and as always, smash that like button. You can check out some more of my videos right here. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.